Welcome back. It's Matt Rogers. It's now the 9th of the 10th, 2017. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a good day and a good evening. So, we're going to go through this video showing many different images that have come through by fantastic people around the world working very, very hard to try and get the truth out there to the members of the public around the world. So please enjoy this footage and God bless you all. Here we have some attachments that have come through from Stefan Rees from southern Germany. Now this kind subscriber has just moments ago sent these photographs in and they state as well that those colours you see on the screen are from Wormwood. Look at the colour again, can you see this red reflection? But also look at the colour from the soul that's behind here, all this plasma. The two colours give it away that there is an object that's between Earth and the soul. We are getting images from all across the world showing the same skies. So I'm going to go to the next image because I believe as well that everybody, it's only but fair for their images to come on the screen. This is the next photograph as well that was taken moments later. You can see clearly, can't you, this pink haze in the sky. Not the red colour that we see when the soul goes down, but this pink reflection. And you see again the plasma to the right hand side. Two set colours. Here is this strange colour that zoomed in. And also the cloud system that this kind subscriber from Germany states look very much different from any other time. Still we see every single day this pink reflection. As before many years ago we would see a, a red haze on the horizon. It was very rare to see that very very rare not every day but now we're seeing this red haze every single day okay now we've got a video that's come through by Diana D and she's from the USA but clearly says there's an object that was seen hovering in the sky and then it just disappeared into the blueness and also the chemtrails started their activity covering this area of the sky now, I want to play this video for you now because it's very, very important. Look, that was the sun just a minute ago. The sun is setting over there. What the hell was that? just got covered up by those clouds. That's not the moon, because the moon is that direction. Yeah. Okay, so that's west, and that's east. Or well, that's west, and that's east. What was in the east? Okay, that does look very strange, doesn't it? Because it is very important to pick up anything that's different in our skies. You can clearly see it's bright, and it's big as well. So, thank you again. Diana for this um, excellent piece of footage that you're sending in because we do need to see the truth because again the media the government will never bring this out here we also have another piece of uh, footage as well coming in from Dana as well and she talks through the um, the video and she explains as well it is very strange so I'm going to play this for you now as well because, it, again, it is so important to get these true videos out. These are very live videos that are being documented and also being recorded from all across the world to this day, right now.
Okay, and many people as well are sending a lot of emails stating that the moon is far too bright. It's brightening up the skies and it's continuously doing this now to this day. There is something big that's out there in our inner solar system that's reflecting on our known moon and other objects that are out there. So again, thank you for these videos. And if you catch any more footage, images, please do send them in and we will show these on a later video. And please take care. We now have some fresh images that have just come through from Annette from New Zealand. Now, can you see these colors on these strange cloud formations? Here, here, and up here as well. Now, have you noticed as well, you've got the color of the soul that's going down, and also these other clouds not reflecting these pink reflections, because they're chemicals. Now, we see these clouds, okay, and they are having the reflection from Nibiru, these colors. I'm gonna to go to the next photograph as well because I do find these very interesting. This is the next photograph as well. Now, these have just been taken very recently, only about 10 to 15 minutes ago, that she's seeing these in the skies right now. And this is what's unique about this um, situation with these photographs that are coming in because they are brand spanking new. Look again, you can see that pink haze from that heavenly body that's between us and the soul. Something else is also darkening our skies. We've seen these on other videos that are very recent. And also the halo from behind the halo is very, very dark. So again, thank you, Annette, for these images. Here we have another short video from Fonzie from Detroit. And he states in the email as well that the sun on this video has turned a very strange color. Can you see the shape of it as well? It's a different shape like a hexagon in the sky, very blue, and it does look like a mirror, doesn't it? It's reflecting, it's different. We don't see the yellow soul, the sun in the sky. We are seeing a reflector in the sky on this short video. Chemtrails and dark skies to the right-hand side. So please watch this video. It's nine seconds long. I apologize how short it is, but again, it's solid proof that our skies are changing and also that reflector is in the sky. Sarah! It is getting stranger every day, isn't it? because we do see that chemtrail when that reflector is up there. This is what they do, they spray the skies to hide that reflector. The shape of it is completely wrong. This video is blowing it right out of the woods. It is showing you what they're doing up there above our Earth's atmosphere to try and brighten everything up again as the sun is being eclipsed by Wormwood and the companion star with the other heavenly bodies, Harrington, Aboda, and the moons. There is many of objects up there now, and you can see now by the time you look at the lunchtime skies, things do become darker. And I will show you on another video, I've picked up webcam images through these past days as well, and up-to-date images of strange skies where they're darkening between half past 10 in the morning to 3 p.m. Many parts of the world are seeing very dark dim skies but humanity have still got very much used to this because they wouldn't believe what they would be seeing because NASA have gone to all this trouble to hide in this true system as these heavily objects are gaining in closer. So again, another fantastic video. Thank you for this. Okay, the Fonz has sent in another video as well, of the same sky, the same reflector, just moments later. So I'm going to play this for you as well. 
Fixing, cleaning, maintaining, and repairing of your rental homes. That's why the Better Business Bureau awards us an A-plus for customer satisfaction. You can trust us to take care of your property, and you can enjoy your weekends again. Contact us today. Right, what you can see on this video that I am very interested in noticing as well is to the right side. Now we see that reflector to the left side. But look to the right side of the video screen. You can see the dark skies. Now, many years back, the normal sun would just brighten everything up. It is so looking now artificial. Nothing up there you see is real. What you're seeing again is a huge simulator and also you're seeing chemtrails and also dust and a dark shadow to the right side. Now these objects are causing our skies to become very dark because again the sun is being eclipsed. I know it's quite difficult to get many people for getting their heads around this but it is a true situation. We can see this so clear now so again thank you for this piece of evidence as well. Moments later after the video footage that was taken, this is what he saw. He saw a strange cloud as a chem cloud being produced by Harp that moved very slowly in a very strange manner to cover the area of the salt, the area of the simulator. All this that you see in the sky just appeared out of nowhere. There were no chem planes, it just appeared. And also I'm going to pass and show you to the next image. Here it is again. Now, what he said as well in his email, no planes, couldn't see anything. But, as you can see, you can see these trails, can't you? Just up below this sheet of haze. All this is to cover the truth. Now, what they do is, they hide the shadows, the dark shadow to the right-hand side. Because those shadows are coming from heavenly objects from the other solar system that's been on this 3,600 year orbit. It's now made its way back. Can you see these lines in the skies? This is all artificial and still people do not see what's going on. They still think these are passenger jet lines of just contrails, but no, these are chemtrails, but they do another technique. They use drones to spray the skies and other sort of forms of technology. This has been going on far too long and we are now seeing the truth on these genuine fresh brand new images from people from all across the world that are very genuine and they just want the truth. People are becoming angry, disappointed, upset, depressed. It's all happening now isn't it? And we want the truth. It's about time now that we start to form this strong community and stand up and get these words out. Because the government, the powers that be, they need now to understand that we need to stand and also to fight back because this is our earth. Mother Earth belongs to us. This attachment's coming from Cardiff in the UK. And this kind subscriber, Robert Jones, studies the skies every day and he's noticing those chemtrails lines in the skies and just it is being pelted with ash and also many other toxins that are being covered from the skies all across the UK we're seeing this and many parts of the world are seeing the same skies just ridiculous look at all these lines and thank you for your kind email and your persistence and if you catch any other images Robert please do send them in Okay, I just want to show you two sunsets, okay? The first sunset you will see is a natural sunset. We see that red haze, okay? The soul, the sun, the color, and this is coming from our atmosphere. As the soul goes down, you will see this red haze. Now, I'm going to show you the next image. And this first image is coming in from Mariah. And she's a great, fantastic friend that sends a lot of photographs in showing the Nibiru system. Now, I'm going to show you another photograph from another part of the world, from another genuine subscriber, showing you the Nibiru sunset. Okay, this next image is from Gareth Frost, from Ireland. Now, 
Look at the uh, the screen. This is a Nibiru sunset. It's very much different. Can you see this pink haze? Now all this is chemi chemicals. You'll see the yellow color of the soul and you'll see the reflection as well here. This pink reflection. There is another object that's reflecting in the skies. Now other people around the world won't see this sunset. But as Earth is rotating in its orbit, it's moving, so you won't be able to catch it in other parts of the world until it rotates the Earth, till then you will start seeing it again. Now, it is now being seen here in the UK and also Ireland, even many parts of the USA and also Australia. It is a situation where many people are sending in emails stating they can't see anything, it's just blue skies. The thing is though, the government know about this. They don't have to chemtrail if you can't or not able to see it on a normal blue sky. But they will chemtrail heavily when people will start being able to notice it. And I have many emails as well in them parts of the skies, them areas where they will see it, stating that their skies are being fully chemtrailed. They're seeing military planes every day spraying the skies. So it's just proven again that it's nothing to do with geoengineering. It's to do with covering huge objects. They're trying to pull the wool over our eyes and they've been doing it for years and they think they're getting away with it. So again, it is about this pink reflection in the skies. Okay, these next set of attachments have come in from Malibu from a kind subscriber called Lazara Brito and this kind subscriber is seeing very strange formations in her skies as well. I mean, look at this pink reflection here, strange formations and also another colour that's reflecting off these strange cloud formations and also states that the trees and everything around the area seems to be very dry. Now I'm going to go to the next image because I find these very very interesting. This is the next photograph, and as we've seen on the NASA cams, we see this strange yellow reflection. Now look at the differences of these cloud formations, very strange, and look at this shadow again, just cuts off here. Strange lowered clouds, and again a fleck of pink haze reflecting off them as well from Wormwood. This is the next interesting image, you can see again these shadows. Another interesting image as well, of colours and reflections and shadows. Shadows, strange red colours as well, reflecting from another heavenly body, you've got the two colours. Can you see this clearly now? And she also states, through the day, to the evening by taking these images those strange clouds just didn't move whatsoever and then they did start to move as the sun was going down it just seemed very strange but again something is going on here we have another video that's just come in as well from Dan F now Dan F is from the USA and he is fully aware that the soul, the sun, has changed completely different. It is now a white object. And also, they are chemtrailing through the day. I'm going to play this video for you now. It lasts 31 seconds, but any piece of footage is well worth to see, as you can just absolutely see that things have changed. Okay, I apologise if it cut out there at the end, but it is so clear now, isn't it, that there is something going on with our sun. And to the left side of the video, there was an object that was not moving. We saw the lens flare, but there was something else 
to the left side. So again, thank you for these videos, fantastic. Lazaro Brito also sent these images in as well. I mean, also, you can just see that the sun with this reflector that's in front of it is reflecting. Look again. You can see the dark skies. Look at the clouds as well with this huge white object that's beaming down. As it's being brightened up on the screen, it's like a huge mirror because it's dark on the land proving that there is something in front of the sun. It's not natural. We are seeing an unnatural light source and we see this near on every single day. And when we do speak to other people about it, they say they just can't believe it. They can't get their head around it. And it's a shame because in the future, in our lifetimes, something big is going to happen, a huge event. And they won't be able to get away with this forever. Things like this won't last forever. This is the last image for this video, and I will send out other videos with more photos because I've got hundreds of them to sort out this evening. But can you see on this screen, look at that reflector, look at the blue reflection, and look to the left side of this photograph. Look how dim the sky is. It's far too dark. Everything is now coming so clear. We can see that what they're doing, using that simulator to cover the original soul. Now, if that reflector was moved out of the way, we would see a dim sun. We would see it, the skies would be too dark, and people would then notice that there is something going on up in the heavens. As we know, that that binary star is with our sun. We know that Wormwood is here. So please, all of you, take care and please prepare for this. And thank you again for all your respect, all your fantastic comments, and also your excellent images that are coming through, through the hour of the day from Matt Rogers. Here is this strange colour that zoomed in. And also the cloud system that this kind subscriber from Germany states look very much different from any other time. Still we see every single day this pink reflection. As before many years ago we would see a, a red haze on the horizon. It was very rare to see that. Very very rare. Not every day but now we're seeing this red haze every single day. Okay, now we've got a video that's come through by Diana D, and she's from the USA, but clearly says there's an object that was seen hovering in the sky, and then it just disappeared into the blueness, and also the chemtrails started their activity covering this area of the sky. Now, I want to play this video for you now, because it's very... Come back. It's Matt Rogers. It's now the 9th of the 10th, 2017. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a good day and a good evening. So we're going to go through this video showing many different images that have come through by fantastic people around the world working very, very hard to try and get the truth out there to the members of public around the world. So please enjoy this footage and God bless you all. Here we have some attachments that have come through from Stefan Rees from southern Germany. Now this kind subscriber has just moments ago sent these photographs in and they state as well that those colours you see on the screen are from very important. over there. What the hell was that? It just got covered up by those clouds. That's not the moon, because the moon is that direction. Yeah. Okay, so that's
that's west, and that's east. Well, that's west, and that's east. What was in the east? Okay, that does look very strange, doesn't it? Because it is very important to pick up anything that's different in our skies. You can clearly see it's bright and it's big as well. So thank you again, Diana, for this um, excellent piece of footage that you're sending in because we do need to see the truth because, again, the media, the government will never bring this out. Here we also have another piece of uh, footage as well, coming in from Dana as well, and she talks through the, um, the video and she explains as well, it is very strange. So I'm going to play this for you now as well because it, again it is so important to get these true videos out. These are very live videos that are being documented and also being recorded from all across the world to this day, right now. Wormwood. Look at the colour again. Can you see this red reflection? But also, look at the colour from the soul that's behind here, all this plasma. The two colours give it away that there is an object that's between Earth and the soul. We are getting images from all across the world showing the same skies. So I'm going to go to the next image, because I believe as well that everybody, it's only but fair for their images to come on the screen. This is the next photograph as well that was taken moments later. You can see clearly, can't you, this pink haze in the sky. Not the red colour that we see when the soul goes down, but this pink reflection. And you see again the plasma to the right hand side. Two set colours, 